<coughs> all right, all right. Let's see, where's my brush? Stupid acrylic is stuck in this shit. Let's see. Hello. Welcome. Alright, meanwhile, we get some peeps in here. We're good. I'm gonna clean my brush. I have a little bit of acrylics here. Hello, Ito. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Who is here? Let me see who's here. Hi, Jimena. Welcome. There's a little piece of acrylic right there. Hi, Maribel. Hi, Daniel. Como están? Today, I am here early. I'm going to be doing some Chanel nails. Who likes Chanel up in here? I think I'm going to do the ring finger. I'm going to do that one nude. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So today, we're here a little early because... I, I like to switch it up sometimes, you know. Hi, Sabs. I know a lot of people are working right now, but I was like, you know what? It's now or never. Hi, Sunny. How are you? <clears throat> oh, you're in your in your daughter's account. Nice. So today I have something uh, elegant. Well, I'm hoping I could keep it elegant for you guys. Um. I want to use the Midnight Sugar. Hi, Big Don. How are you? So today I am using my 3XL square nail tips along with Cover Dusty Rose. I will be using Cover Dusty Rose a lot in the next couple months because it sets fast and I like it. Um, I'm using my number 20 brush because like I just mentioned, this acrylic dries fast. So it's going to be my favorite. Right now, it's not too hot here. We have our AC on. And so it's like perfect dry time for me. And just in case you guys didn't know, um, when, when the temperature starts to get colder, your product will start drying slower. So you want to... Um, have acrylics that dry fast as well um but if you guys like the slower ones that's fine as well you just need to kind of hold it in your brush a little bit longer i think that's why i don't do a lot of like one bead methods also because it's harder with the dry ones hi zach i'm gonna be doing some some chanel nails today i don't know i've been wanting to use my my let me show you guys so i had these before on the website and they came in a few weeks ago i brought them to the pop-up but i used one of them on my barbie set a long time ago and i just feel like i need to try a different one so i'm gonna try chanel i was thinking maybe the ysl but i feel like chanel's better chanel better for you honey so that's what i'm gonna do today that's what i'm gonna attempt to do let's see how it, how it goes um, are any of you guys at work or what, where you guys at? What you guys doing? It feels weird being on here early, to be honest. I feel like I'm cheating. Like I'm cheating on some hoes, but I was going to come on, um, live yesterday, but our internet was just not working in my neighborhood. There was like an outage and stuff. So I was like, fuck. Oh, you're working from home. Nice. Do a lot of people work from home in here? 
just got home from work now you're eating yay okay you're working overtime yes honey living the newborn life okay francesca congratulations on your baby by the way your baby looks so big um right here it is about 2 p.m i want to say it was it's about 2 30 or something like that um before i came on it was like 2 20 let me check it doesn't show me actually alexa what time is it right now bitch does not want to listen i can hear how sick you are i am actually um feeling a lot better i do not feel sick whatsoever so i'm just gonna add a little bit more here where my little dip is at um i just have like mocos that's it so i probably sound sick but i'm not i promise i'm not sick i just have whatever's left over so i'm gonna be doing a couple frenchies i'm between a couple frenchies so i'm gonna do them nude and then i'll paint on the french because i've been kind of liking that yeah my legs will be acting stupid as fuck all right so which nail should i do all black should i do the index finger all right i'm gonna do this one french i'll probably do this one french and i'll do this one all black yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm sick oh my lord all right i'm gonna try to do the next nail fucking faster all right, let's see if I could one bead method this bitch. I just kidding. I cannot do that. I cannot. Half bead. Half bead, honey. Um, oh, well, I hope you get better, girlfriend. Just drink a lot of fluids. Y no tomes leche. You know what? What I have learned that when you're sick, don't drink um dairy stuff. Like, don't drink milk. And you won't really get mocos like that. Like the worst part, I feel besides a cough, is when you have mocos and you cannot breathe. Like they're stuck in your throat and shit. Um, well, milk is not bad, but it just creates um, phlegm or boogers or whatever. So I just try to stay away from milk. Um, I even try to not drink coffee but you know what the milk that i drink the creamer is not really milk so um i feel like that kind of helps but i've been a bad girl lately and i drank coffee from dutch so i feel like that's why i have more calls so yeah it's my fault though i went to dutch yesterday my mocos had already been gone but they came back they definitely came back. I was like, no, because I'm going to go to work tomorrow. So that's why I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to go live, it's definitely going to be during the day. If I can, I um, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to have time in the evening because that's normally my my lives in the evening. But I was like, just in case I can't then i'll do it now so right now i had a little time hi portia welcome how are you um i was like you know what if i have a little time i'll come on the live and and then i told her hey i'm like you gucci over there with the orders <laughs> and um that's why i came on oh you have a lot of phlegm yeah don't drink don't drink coffee don't drink no coffee okay and you will be, be better soon like, I remember a long time ago, my mom told me that. And um, I was like, all right, you know what? I don't want to be sick. So I didn't drink coffee for a whole week. I was dying because I'm an addict, you know? I'm a coffee addict. So I was like, bitch, I don't know if it's a sickness or it's the caffeine withdrawals or what the hell. But I was dying. Um, I'm like kind of sick, kind of not. Ah, okay, Maggie. <clears throat> thank you for the tips i know nothing don't worry i will teach you something in every life i promise <laughs> um are you sick i'm well sleepy but not going to sleep anymore um well i i, I don't know what i had to be honest i don't want to say i was sick because i didn't feel sick but you know we always in denial when you're a workaholic i am always in denial of being sick for the most part, like, 
<clears throat> I'll be like, I'm not sick. I could work. I could go to work, bitch. I could still do everything, okay? I like to... Like Patrick says, if you um, believe it, you're going to be fucking sick. So I've been telling myself I'm not sick. I have allergies <laughs> because I didn't know what I had, but I didn't feel sick was the problem. So that's why I'm like, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. But I did have a sore throat on Wednesday. I can't get sick because if not, Zach is going, <laughs> he's not going to hang out with you fuck, for real. When is he supposed to arrive? <clears throat> Hi, J Love. Long time no see los pinches allergies. Yeah. So that's why I feel like I have allergies because I went to pick apples with my mom last week. We went to like a mountain out here, like a mini little mountain vibes or whatever. And then there was like a pumpkin patch. And I just feel like I'm really delicate with being outdoors because I remember a few years back, El Jefe made me go with him to play golf at a golf course. And it was kind of windy, and then I got stuffy and sick, kind of like that. So I'm like, I definitely have mm, mm, lemon and ginger. I'm going to be a naughty girl, and I'm going to pretend I didn't see that comment because I did not like teas. <laughs> Can I put it in coffee? Can I put it in the morning? Can I get it in the morning? And also the climate. Yeah, so that's why I feel like I'm not sick because I haven't really lost my energy. I still have my appetite. Um, the only thing is my boogers. That's it. Like last week on Saturday, Lord, my nose was runny. It was super runny. And but I I was still fine. So I was like, what the hell? What is wrong with me? And honey, ooh, that's the part I don't like, actually. I do not like honey. I know I'm a weirdo who does not like honey, but I do not like no honey. Hi, Janie. Welcome. All right. So I'm going to be doing two Frenchies on two of the nails. That's why I did them on nude. What kind of acrylic do I use? I'm using my acrylic cover Dusty Rose. Actually, I'm just going to add a little bit more. They're nice and smooth, but I'm just going to give them a little bit more thickness. Um, Actually, I'll do it with clear because that one dries slower. And I won't be in jail tomorrow. Woo! I forgot you were still in jail. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Eli. Elizabeth Carrillo. All right. So I'm using Cover Dusty Rose on these right here. And then I'm going to be using black hole on the other one. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of clear just to give these other two a little bit of thickness because they're flat. They have no apex and they have a little dip here. So um, you don't have to encapsulate this color at all, but I'm going to do it just because, like I said, that one dries super fast. And I want to be able to move this a little bit. So how have you guys been? I have a little different crowd today. You you guys are all from the East Coast, huh? Hi, Maricela. Free me after 3 p.m. I'll be able to, which is insane. They never give me a time. <laughs> she locked up. They won't let her out. Hi, Kaylee. How are you? I, I feel like TikTok does that when you're a, f a newer account, kind of. Like, maybe they're stricter or something. Because later on, when you've had your account for a little while and you go live and stuff, like, you don't really get in trouble like that. Well, knock on wood. Is what she deserves. Damn. Well, I don't know what happened how she got blocked. So, um, hopefully it was just something as stupid. Um, hello, new here. Hi, welcome. So I'm just adding a little bit of clear down here to give the nail a little bit of thickness. Um, <clears throat> I was trying to, oh, she was dragging you. Ooh, bad job, Jimena, bad job. Um, I was trying to do a one bead method, but the one thing that I don't like about one beads, well, obviously I did not do, I was not successful because obviously I had to use multiple beads still. 
but I tried to do like a two bead, three bead method or whatever. Um, but I don't really like that because then it leaves me a flat nail, which is good in the sense that it doesn't have like a belly and it's nice and smooth, but it does not have a thickness. Ese es el mismo. El negrito? Sí. Oh, porque me faltó uno. ¿No más uno? Uh -huh. No, un, como un librito. ¿O oh, te necesitas otro? Sí, viene por uno más. Oh. Pero los dos son del negro. Sí, 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 sí. Entonces, eh, te lo dejo aquí el otro que son. Ok. So, my mom is packaging our Midnight Sugar. For those of you guys who want it, Midnight Sugar, it is back in stock and I will be using it. I will be using it. I do a six bead method, girl. Me too. I do like a million bead methods. I cannot. I cannot. I try my best, but I just cannot. I feel like they come out too flat. And for some reason, it leaves the the tip thick as shit. Look at it. Like, what the fuck, a bitch? How come you moving, honey? How come you moving? <clears throat> I have something in my throat. Poor Lenny wants to leave my room. And my mom left his ass right here. Are you going to use a dust collector? Um, yes, when I file, I will probably use my dust collector. I do have one. So let me just try to focus this bead here. Um, sometimes when, when the dip stays there is because I'm not giving it enough time before I drag it. So if you guys ever have that issue where the acrylics just doesn't stay where you want it, it's because we're dragging it too fast. Go ahead. I am using the red iguana. Oh, shit. Um, I'm using the red iguana hand in this one. Look, what the fuck, bitch? Let me look at it sideways. What the fuck, Sule? I was doing just fine before I started to. I'm going to put it right here. Um, this one is Style Inessa. So I'm just going to put it here in this section. Right there. Fuck it, thug life. If I add glow pigment powder to acrylic, will it affect it? I personally have not tried that. As long as you don't add too much, you should be fine, I think. You know, because it's... Mm, yeah the darker tones don't really glow so just don't add too much and i think you should be fine i cannot wait for my glow top coat to fucking get here man let's see cuando vergas llega so i mean today's tuesday huh what's your tip on doing frenchies for beginners well for beginners or experts or whatever, because I struggle with them as well. I'm actually going to be doing Frenchies in a little bit. So just stick around and then I can explain it a little bit more. Because I feel like it's hard to explain without really doing them. But I'm going to be doing it with gel. So I find it a lot easier to paint with gel. And um, than with acrylic. But if you're going to do it with acrylic... I recommend to apply your first bead where where the tip of your fringe is going to be. So if you're going to make a deep fringe, focus on making the fringe deep first and then building up to the cuticle. Yeah, it is hard to explain, but don't worry. If you stick around, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my Frenchies. I'm even going to do two Frenchies, I think, with, with um, glitter. Um, with sugars, with some um, midnight sugar. Muchas gracias. What brush do I use? I am currently using my number 20 brush. This one, you guys can find it on my website. Um, depending on what I'm doing is the brush that I use. Right now, I feel like I should not be using size 20 because it's kind of cold in here. <sighs> Let me breathe because I have to breathe through my mouth a little bit. Yeah, let me let me switch my brush so you guys can see. Maybe let me finish this bead. Um, depending on the weather and how to call it, the length of the nails, it um depends what brush I normally use. Lately, 
I have been using my number eight liquid handle brush. I don't know where I left it. Because that one is kind of bigger than your typical number eight. So I was like, I bought it from a different manufacturer. And so that's why the numbers are off. So let me show it to you guys real quick. So you guys can see that I, we could still do some nail with that. Where are you, honey? Fuck. I made a mess. Where are you, you fucking brush? Huh. Now that I want to show my brush off, it's not here. I have so many brushes. They all camouflage low-key. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, but this is number 12. Oh, I guess I have the number eight at the salon. Okay, no, here it is. So check out the difference between the eight and the number 12. These are the glitter handles. Look, let me wet them. So you can see the difference. We do not have the number 12 anymore, but they run bigger than our other brushes. So check it out. They have little glitter handles. They're so pretty. So this one over here is a number eight. And this one's a number 12. So if you guys um have our number 12 pink handles, they look smaller compared to this one. So if you want something a little bit bigger than this one, if you have our number 12, even though it says number eight, but it's just bigger. It The brushes definitely vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. <clears throat> yeah, so if you guys are in between our number 12 pink brush or the clear handle, I recommend the glitter one. Um, don't be fooled by the number. Like I said, every manufacturer um gives them a different number so how to call it um look it. this one has been my favorite lately because it has more hair hi um dahlia how are you i just like to tap it for some reason i've been catching myself tapping my brushes like a fucking crazy girl so if you guys are impatient you want to tap your little brushes so that they can polymerize so check it out one thing i i all i like to mention as well if you guys have an acrylic that is a little runny or slow setting or whatever um you want to hold it in your brush a little bit if you tap it i feel like the liquid just flows in the bristles faster and is able to get to the the powder so if you guys have any um, slow setting acrylic or fast drying, hold it in your brush a little bit and it won't run everywhere. Trust me. Like this um, black acrylic, depending on how big your brush is, once you place it, it could be a little runny, but then it dries fast as fuck. So you got to fucking um, learn to um, work with your products, but check it out. Also, I do recommend a smaller brush when you're working with um, runny acrylics. Like when it starts to be winter, I recommend to size down on your brush because everything will feel runny, you know. And then, hi, Julia. Welcome. And then um, in the summertime, everything dries super fast. So then you want to up your brush. So it can hold more liquid. What acrylic brand do you recommend? I always recommend my brand. I love everything that we have. So just in case you guys are new here, I do have my own acrylic system. We have um, from nail prep to acrylic. Actually, I have a little bubble there. We have acrylic. We have brushes. We have everything you need to do a nail set and everything is amazing price yes it is beginner friendly it is friendly to everybody beginners and um professionals whatever it is that you consider yourself and if you ever need help with anything 
I always have lives every week using my products so that you guys can learn how to use different things. Oh, the lays are really good. Yes. Although some people try to like talk shit, but whatever. Everybody has their opinion. But um, that's why I use my product so you guys can see that it works, you know. Again, what works for one person will not always work for other people. And that is totally normal. Um, hi, Zule, you're on here early. Yes, Nayeli, I had to come on early because I don't know if I'd be able to come back later today. Um, but if I am, I will be more than happy to come and do something else for my ladies that are at work or something. Because Zule is going to be off to work. Where did you get your brush? Yariel is from my website. You can everything I'm using right now, you guys can find on the link on the bio. Um, the only thing you can find there is the hand. So if you guys really like this hand or you've been looking for one that looks super realistic because you want like really good pictures, or you just need a friend to practice on, but you don't got friends like me, eh? <laughs> Then you get a fake hand from Red Iguana. They are a little pricey, but it's a one-time investment. And um, I definitely recommend you guys can save money using um, code Zule. Do you have any updates on the mystery boxes? Not yet. I will probably be able to update you guys probably when we have our sub only live, which I'm going to give you guys a date for that as well. Um, it's going to be next week, but I have to double check my calendar. Um, I want to say I'll do it on Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So if you guys would like to participate in our sub only live, I recommend to subscribe um, because I am also going to be doing a, a press on raffle for my lovely winner. I still have to work on Izzy's nails. So Izzy, if you're in here, I haven't worked on your nails. I think I'll probably do them on our sub live only because I don't want to be sick doing your nails. You know, eh, just kidding. Um... <clears throat> I'm still trying to debate what I want to do on her nails, to be honest. Maybe you guys can help me choose. But yeah, I do have moquitos, guys. I'm not sick sick, but I do have mocos. I can be your model. Well, I kind of like my fake model, to be honest. I don't like real people. Well, I do like real people, but not like models. Because luego se ponen piqui, you know? You know? I appreciate... I appreciate you. ¿Cómo te llamas, amiga? Lizzie. Pero luego... You're going to be like, Zile, I don't want you to get me sick. I don't like that color. I don't like that shape. <laughs> okay, let me go blow my nose real quick. Yeah, this hand looks so real, huh? Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Hope you feel better. Ah, huh? no, no tiene nombre. Thank you. No. <clears throat> she talks Spanish too. Yes, I speak Spanish. All right, so how do you call it? I'm going to file the nails now. I'm going to use my. So if you ever tap the nails, this is how you know they're dry because they do a clickety clack noise. I'm going to be using my 80 by 100 grip file only because the nails are not like too, too, um, 
like lumpy or anything like that. So depending on how fucking bumpy they are is the file that I choose most of the time. If if I have a lot of lumps and bumps that I need to remove, shave down or whatever, I like to use this file, the 80 by 100 washable one. So you're going to be like, what the fuck's the difference? They say the same shit. Well, this one is reusable, so you can wash it and disinfect it and use it a few times. So that's why the grit is very coarse so that it, it doesn't lose its... um sharpness or whatever like over time it gets a little bit more soft but it's still rough you know rough 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 all right i'm gonna be using um <clears throat> no i haven't drank emergency because i don't i don't think i have a cold i think i they're more like allergies here where i live it's really right now it's not as windy but it has been really windy in the night so I feel like that is what fucks me up. What is the bling adhesive activator? Um, so the bling adhesive activator is a a um spray that you add to the nail once you're done decorating. So what it's for is pretty much to just accelerate the dry time of glue. It's a pack of bunch of vitamins. You should try it. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm just going to file the nails real quick. And I'm debating if I should do my nails or not. Like, I really love my nails. But this fucking moño has been stressing me the fuck out lately. Um, And I apologize if you guys don't like my cuss words. They're just not going to go away. Lately, people have been like super offended with my fuck you, fuck this, fuck da, 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 da. <laughs> And it makes me laugh, but at the same time, I feel bad because it's like, fuck, it's not my fault. I say bad words. Like, that's just the way I express myself. Like, where did all my, my, the subscribers that watch me come from that don't like my language? Like, I understand not everybody loves it, but I'm not here to be your normal professional nail artist in the sense where I'm I'm not going to say bad words. Like, that's just the way I express myself. And I feel like if <clears throat> and if I stop saying bad words, like I'm holding them back or whatever, I'm not going to enjoy myself. I'm not going to be myself and that's just gonna lead me to not liking my fucking job you know so to me i'm sorry if you guys don't like that but it's not going anywhere anytime soon and i don't do it on purpose either well just kidding sometimes i do <laughs> is the midnight sugar no it's glitter it's raw glitter it's a sugar nancy it goes on top of the nail Yeah, so I've just been getting a few comments lately about that. And I'm like, okay, bye. Well, I, I understand. But it's not going to go nowhere. And I totally understand a lot of people don't like like me because of that. But I'm like, oh, well, to each their own. I have no idea what's going on, but that's right. What? But that's right, period. What, what, what? You can please, yeah, I cannot please everybody, and I'm not gonna try to to please everybody. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why is everybody fucking doing that? But whatever. What color is that? Um, the nude color is covered dusty rose. It is one of my ultimate favorite nude acrylics that we carry. Um. Y'all are going to think like, bitch, you used to say that about cover pink nude. But every time I get a new color, it's like my new favorite. It's okay. There's a lot of z-holes in your corner. I know. I appreciate you guys. But I was like, oh, my God. Like, I, w I, w I just uploaded a video today on YouTube. And I already had, like, two people telling me shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Where you come from? 
And I'm like, I'm not even going to fight nobody. Like, if y'all want to leave, you can leave. But you missing out on this education here just because you don't mute me. <laughs> um, Inspo for this set. So for this set, I'm going to be doing Chanel nails. I'm going to do a quilt effect, I'm hoping. I'm going to be using these charms, which are also available on the website now. So back in the day, I used to do quilt nails with uh, a floss stick, which you can still achieve. But I feel like it gets harder to do when your nails are super long because you have to chase you had to fucking fight the acrylic dry time. So I was like, you know what? Let me try a different technique. And so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Not a Z-ho yet, but I didn't have an issue with how you address yourself. Okay, thank you, girl. <clears throat> yeah, there's some people who just don't like when I say bad words. And I'm like, okay. They're like, I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm like, okay, bye. Okay, bye. You'll be back. No. <laughs> You'll be back. Nah, but for real, like, if my cuss words bother you, but you still want to be here, like, you can just mute it and look at the little words or something. Hi, Noes. So these nails are also obviously going to be black because Chanel, I feel like, I don't know, their classic little bag. I don't know what it's called. I'm not really into that. I'm not into purses like that, but does anybody know what their classic or main, their main one is? The one with the little quilt called? The little black one? That purse? I feel like that's what I'm going for with one of these charms. Excuse me. But I love these charms ever since I got them last time. And um, I've been wanting to do a black set with it. So if you guys have these charms, you can definitely recreate later on with whatever color you like. We're going to make something sexy and elegant. Is it the nine? I have no idea. I'm telling you, I don't know about, I don't know about purses. I just know it's like everyone and their mama has it. I don't, I could never, like, I, I, I don't judge nobody with their spending, but I don't think I could ever spend over four grand on a purse. Like, my, my, I could not, like, I mean, like, <laughs> that's too much. That, uh, like, I'm afraid of wearing my purse. Like, what if somebody jumps me in the street for it? Like, bitch, fuck that shit. <laughs> Or does more like no? Give my purse, bitch. Give my fucking. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> my limit is one fifty. Never more than that. Yeah, I don't know. I just find my little cheap ones now, <clears throat> like more fun to wear. Uh -huh. I, and I only have one that's priced like that. No, yes, yeah, you should. Like, I don't know what I was. I don't know what I was thinking when I did buy my other purses, but my limit is maybe four grand if I really love it. But even then, I'm like, bitch, are you stupid or something? <laughs> bitch, are you dumb? Are you dumb or something? Como decía Patrick when he was little, small crossbody for me. I'd rather spend on nail supplies. Yes, you're right, Lizzie. I probably rather spend it at Disneyland or some shit. <laughs> and if you wanna just what? And if you wanna but me one, just give me the money, huh? Oh, buy you one. Huh? Like buy me one. No. I'm like, I wish I was like that, but at the same time, no. I'm okay, honey. I don't even dress nice. A bitch don't even dress nice to have that type of bag. All right, so I'm just going to use this bit since it's already on here um, to file off the little scratches. You're like, you know what? I do not. Oh, fuck. My little fucking hand is falling. Do not fall, honey. I could barely 
Save 100 bucks. Like, we don't need no Chanel purses. So, we're going to have Chanel, Chanel nails. So, this bit is by far my ultimate favorite bit. The X, extra fine one. Um, I'm trying to see if I could get it in the extra long tip. But, I'm having a hard time finding it. How do you get the clients? I'm a beginner. Can you give me advice? Well, it's, I think that is one of the hardest things to do is to get clientele, whether you do nails, you do makeup, you do hair, you sell stuff. Getting clientele is the hardest part. But the what has worked for me is posting my work. Like for my nail clients, I think that's the only way um, to get exposure and also by wearing your nails out to public. So if you guys are shy as fuck and you don't want to talk to people, um, let, let's just say it's going to be really hard to build the clientele. Um, I, I was also shy, so that's why I'm telling you it's kind of hard until you start to, um, break your shell a little bit. So I recommend for you to wear your nails and if you can't because of whatever job you live in or whatever, I mean, you work in, make yourself some little press-ons with, with bling bling something eye-catching nothing basic because nobody's gonna compliment a basic set unless it's like a french tip that's super snatched or whatever then you won't really catch no bitch at the costco telling you like oh my god your nails your nails are so pretty when they're just a solid color like we need to be realistic you need to Catch a bitch's eye. Be different. Be, be um, crazy, ratchet. Whatever it is you need to be in the beginning. Um, it's kind of like if you're looking for a man, but instead of a man, you're looking for clients. You know, you, you need to be flashy, honey, and and offer them something that they can't get anywhere else. So you need to find your your niche or whatever the fuck they say, your niche or however you pronounce it. Like, why should they come to you? What do you have that the other bitch down the street don't have? What do you have to offer? You know? And most of the time, people are going to come to you because of your price, because you're cheaper. And ultimately that's not what you want you want them to choose you because you provide a good service because you're you have good quality products or whatever but there's going to be a lot of times where people are just searching for the cheapest price which there's nothing wrong with but that's not a customer you want to keep long term because as soon as they find a nail tech that charges cheaper they're gonna be like bye like fuck you and your fucking stupid nails or whatever right which is sad because, um, pues uno se encariña con la gente and everything. But, um, wear your nails, post your work, and don't undercharge either just because you want clients. And I'm telling you for real because that happened to me. Like, I used to have clients who will go from nail tech to nail tech from to nail tech. And your goal is to build a consistent clientele. You want to know that you're booked every month. You don't want to um, do nails and one week have clients, the next week you don't got none. And wonder if the following you're going to have clients. You want to make sure that your clients are coming back. So <clears throat> if you're over here trying to how do you call it? Um, keep the ones who are going from from chair to chair happy. You're never really going to have your consistent clients. So if you guys don't have returning clients, you are doing something wrong. And in the beginning, your first year, I'm going to say there won't be that many returning. But after that, if you see that your customers are not coming back, there's a problem somewhere. 
Um, and you need to sit and think like, what's going on? What am I doing? Like, there could be a few factors into why they're not coming back, you know? But for the most part, as long as you're giving them good nails, a good service, a lot of women, we love to fucking chat. We love to chat. And that's one thing that my clients used to tell me in the beginning. They'll be like, oh my God, I love that we can talk, chismear and all of that, right? Like we wouldn't be talking shit about nobody. There's a difference between chismear and talking shit. Like we wouldn't do that. They would just vent about their job, their husbands or I don't fucking know the cuñada. And then um, I would listen, laugh, hee hee hee, ha ha ha. But um, how do you call it? That is really important for a lot of people. Now, not everybody wants to talk to their customers. And again, there's going to be a customer for everybody, right? But like I used to have a client that was with me for like two years, right? And then I was wondering like, why is she still with me? Like my nails come out so fucking ugly sometimes. Like they're lumpy, pregnant and all of that. And so I would, I asked her once and I was like, hey, like what made you stick with me since like when I started? And she told me, she's like, to me, I don't really care if my nails are straight Obviously, she wants them to be as straight as possible, but like if one is going that way and the other one's going that way or whatever, I'm fine as long as I don't break one. And she used to wear long nails. So for her, she was not really picky as far as like they need to be perfection and stuff. She was just like, as long as I got 10 nails, I don't give a fuck. Like you're going to get better, right? Um... So I was like, okay, okay. As long as she got nails. Because a lot of people go to nail shops and their nails last one week, two weeks. You know, they break in like three days. And like, that's that's where you come and you make a difference. You are going to give them long lasting nails. And of course, it varies from customer to customer because some customers cannot stay still some people fight bitches on the weekend. Some people do crazy shit. So not everybody's nails are going to last the same. So don't expect that and don't beat yourself up either because your fucking clients know what they do on the weekend. <clears throat> so, yeah. And then if you guys take a long time, don't pressure yourself either because there's going to be clients who are, are willing to sit there for three hours with you. Four hours with you, whatever it takes. Like I used to have clients who would be like Zule, me robaste una hora. Like, like depending on what they would get, I would take like three to four hours, and then they would come get something more simple or something that was easier, and then I'd be done sooner. And then they'll be like, "Bitch, you finished too early," and I'm like, "What do you mean, bitch? Get the fuck out of here. Go take a nap in your car." Like, they still wanted to be there. And I'm like, uh-uh, honey, I know this is all fun, but get out. <laughs> Go home. I need to fucking eat, bitch. You know? So you start to build a friendship with your clients as well. So let me file the tip. And how to call it? Um, Once you start seeing... Um, once you start seeing, um, people more often, you start to get a little close facts. My cuñada only lasts two weeks. Oh, don't worry, Karen. Sh pay attention to her. Maybe some people have more oilier nail beds too. So no matter what, like if it's just one nail that pops off, it's because she uses that one a lot. So the most common finger to lift is this one because we use it for everything. People type. We pick shit up with this. This one is the most busy finger. If people are cashiers or whatever, like they customers also need need to be considerate of their nails, right? Like, dude, if you are over here, uh, you type all fucking day, you have long nails, and you use your nails for everything, is wear and tear. It's gonna happen. But. <clears throat> If it's consistently all her nails, 
it can be different things. Medication can also cause lifting, pregnancy. Our body is crazy. Like a lot of factors can, it could be a lot of factors as to why your nails lift. But mainly um, it could be that they're touching stuff during prep or um, they're just oily, period. Yeah, her next fingers always mess up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's normal. It's normal. That's why even clients of mine until this day, they'll be like, how come this one lifts and the others don't? And I'm like, bitch, because you use that one the most. And they're like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. But like I said, how to call it? Um, If they go to the nail shop down the street, their nails are... They're not going to be miss lifting a nail. They're going to be missing a, a bunch of nails in two weeks. So it's like, do, do you want to be missing nails or do you want to lift one? You know? And hi, Sharon. I was a cosmetologist. I hated working on men. They would take kindness and smile at something else. Oh, <laughs> yes, dude. Did I? Yeah, I told you guys um my story about that stupid man that i gave a manicure to so when i barely was getting started i had just gotten my license and i did not have no clients i was working at this stupid salon in downtown la where i would pay a hundred dollars of rent my first three months they told me and um how to call it i was just trying to do some fucking some somebody's fucking nails because i will make no money i wasted more money going there than than not going besides the fact that i had to pay rent the parking was like eight bucks every fucking day eight dollars every day because it's downtown la right and so i was like dude what can i do to get clients? what can i do what can i do because if i don't show up obviously i make no money and so ooh, I decided to offer free manicures. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to get them somehow. Even if I give them something for free, at least I'm going to have somebody, a bitch in my, in my seat. And I'm not going to be alone, right? So I put a sign, free manicures. Nobody came in. I had to go buy stuff. Um, to make, do manicures because I didn't have nail polishes. I didn't have no cuticle remover. I didn't have none of that. I just did nails. That's what I wanted to do. So I went and I invested like a hundred dollars in that stuff to do nail manicures and gel and polishes. And nobody would come in. And I was like, what the hell, man? And another, another, <clears throat> Another thing, another factor in you not having clientele is definitely going to be your location. Location is really important, especially if you want foot traffic. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the nails matte because I'm going to be painting. Um, I put alcohol on the nails. So location is very important. Um, so the place that I was doing nails out of was in downtown Los Angeles. First of all, there was nobody walking in the streets besides the people that worked in the courthouse somewhere down the street. So it was the worst location I could have picked, but I didn't know that. Um, there was no parking and if there was parking, they had to pay like eight bucks. I'm putting matte top coat on the nails. So consider that as well. It's like if you're going to throw a party and you're going to throw a party donde no hay parking, como que la gente no va a querer venir, right? And so that's why I didn't have customers. Like people were not willing to come to downtown LA because they're like, fuck that. First of all, it's downtown LA. Second of all, there's no traffic ever. And yeah, no. So then I was like, you know what? I'm tired of sitting on my ass <clears throat> waiting for a customer to come in. I'm going to go and look for them. 
So I took my ass and some business cards down the street, up the street, and started passing them out. I was so shy to pass out these cards. Let me tell you, I was like, oh my God, how do I just give it to them? Da -da -da. Some people ignore you. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to pass them out. If they ignore me, well, fuck it. Thug life or whatever. And then that still didn't work. People did not come. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go stand in the front. And then I started people like telling people, hey, do you want a free manicure? Do you want a free manicure? And then they'll be like, free, bitch. Like, nothing is free. And I'm like, no, for real, free manicure. They still didn't come. And I was like, what the fuck? People don't want free shit? What the hell? You know? Um, all the products that I'm using today, you guys can find them on my website. Um, and so then I kind of like pressured this man to come get a manicure because he was thinking I was flirting with him. And I was like, oh, estoy haciendo manicures gratis, quiere uno, da, 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 because he was Spanish speaking, he was Hispanic. And then he was like, it's gratis. And I'm like, see, sí. ah, shit, I put my nail on this one. So I gave him a fucking manicure and tell me why in the mid service, <clears throat> He was trying to fucking flirt with me. He's like, ay, mamacita. And I was like, what the fuck? Hold on, let me close the door because my mom is over there with a vacuum. I was, it was time to give him a, a, um, a massage, you know, because in school they teach you to give a manicure massage. You know, you go like this. Maybe one day I should teach you guys how we do the manicure massages. They they feel real good. You guys got at the S A S A um service. I am really good at massages. He's like, ay mamacita, quiero que me sobes todo mi cuerpo. And I was like, what the fuck, bitch? Like I'm trying to keep my cool, right? Cause I'm like, dude. This motherfucker better tip me, right? Like, back in the day, I didn't know about tipping, but I do know that pigs, men, aka some men, when they like you and you think they're cute, they're going to tip you, right? So I was like, all right, he's going to tip me, bitch. So I need to play this one off. I did not just stay here for 20, 30 minutes and pressure his ass to sit down for him to leave me with nothing, right? And I was like, nah, bitch. Um, and how to call it, um, I was like, oh, I don't do that. I only do manicures and hand massages. And he was like, oh, well, come on, you should give me a massage and on my body. And I'm like, ew, you know? And then I was like, there was a lady actually who did offer body massages there at the salon. It was like a one-stop shop, literally. And I was like, oh, you know, doy massages, pero Tammy, si los da. And then he's like, oh, ¿y quién es ella? And I'm like, oh, es la señora de allá. It's the lady over there. And then he was like, oh, no, yo no la quiero. Da, da, da. And then at that point, I was like, fuck this shit. I need to hurry the fuck up and rub this man's fingers down as quick as I can. Um, Yeah, her name was Tammy. And you know what? The funny thing, too, is that, <clears throat> well, not funny, but... The cool thing was that she was Japanese and she spoke Spanish. She grew up in Mexico. So let me show you guys the gel I'm going to be using right now. is the black, no white painting gel. Yeah, and then so he ended up fucking giving me, I don't even know, he gave me five or ten bucks. But I was like, dude, I don't know if I want to keep pressuring these motherfuckers to come get a manicure. This was so uncomfortable. And so I ended up giving up. Like a month later, I was like, fuck this place is taking more than than what I'm making. And just the the salon owner was shit as well. So it was not the business. So, yes, I did quit, guys. I ended up leaving like after the month. Yes. Worst part, they kept coming and with flowers and lunch. Oh, my Lord. All right, so we're going to do a fringe. So I'm not sure if the young lady is still in here, the one that wanted to see the Frenchies. But we about to do a fringe, okay? So normally you would put a base coat first and then draw your, um, your Frenchies. 
But I think I want them to be matte on the base. So that's why I put matte. <clears throat> this fake hand is from RedIguana.com. So yeah, that was my sad story. And then, yeah, it took me some time, about a year or two, to get clientele. But they are not going to fall in your lap. That is not real. If you guys are going into business, just know that is not going to be easy. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be worth it. Easy come, easy go. Just remember that. And that applies to everything. You get easy money, easy money going to go. You get easy anything is going to disappear quick. So if you wanted to stick around for a while, you need to put in the time, you need to put in the work, you need to put in the money. So just keep that in mind. Consejos para encontrar tiempo cuando tengo un full time. Um, so she's asking me uh, advice of how to find time when she's full time. So yo lo que hacía... Um, cuando tenía mi trabajo full time, iba a la escuela, yo hacía uñas en mi tiempo libre. So, los fines de semana, hacía los, mis clientas, o, um, <coughs> o en mis días de descanso, o hasta en el mismo día cuando trabajaba, me ponía a hacer las pinches uñas. Tú tienes que practicar cualquier tiempo que tengas libre. Aunque sea media hora. What lining brush? I'm using the two in one liner brush. So if you guys have a nine to five job and you really want to practice doing nails, doing makeup, whatever it is, you need to find some time during your week to practice. That's the only way you're going to get better. And most of the time, we are on our phone, on TikTok, swiping, swiping for a fucking hour. Muchas de las veces estamos en el teléfono ahí haciendo unas pendejas por una hora, media hora en el TikTok, en el Facebook, and whatever. Y es cuando uno puede estar practicando. So nowadays, we get sucked into TikTok. That's why I don't really like this app that much. Um, because the things are interesting, right? But we will get sucked into something for hours and hours. And you guys can use that time to practice. So while we are doing nails, so por ejemplo, ahorita que estoy haciendo uñas, en, en vez de que estén acostadas en la cama, si estás acostada, o yo que sé que estás haciendo, si no estás haciendo nada, tú ve y agarra tu uñita y puedes practicar conmigo. You know? So, if you guys aren't doing shit and you need some practicing, go get that shit right now and um and practice a fucking nail. You know? Like, we're not here just haciendo nos pendejas. Estamos practicando, okay? Me right now in bed watching. <laughs> well... Portia, you work way too much, so you you don't need to be practicing right now. But I'm just saying in general, for people who can't ever really find time, es como yo, quiero ir a hacer ejercicio, pero me ganan las excusas. Like, I don't have time. Like, bitch, the time you be sitting in the toilet on fucking... Um, haciéndote tonta, tratando de cagar, or whatever, y no te sale el cerote, you could have really gone to walk around the block, or some shit, you know? <laughs> okay, hold on, let me bend these fingers, you know? The point is, we need to find the time. No, tenemos que dejar de, de hacer excusas. Y yo también, eh, yo también, no nomás ustedes. The toilet was too far. <laughs> It's true, bitch. Everybody be sitting in the toilet waiting for that shit to come out. Well, at least I do. All right, hold on. I'm going to try to perfect my French. I don't have my glasses on, so. But yeah, those are my consejos. Let me twist this around. 
Um, this is the black painting gel. It's from my website. It is really pigmented. Excuse me. <clears throat> Amiga, eat more fiber. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I could shit. I could shit. Pero you know cuando uno está ahí cagando y está bien bueno el chisme or whatever the fuck. Like sometimes that's the only time I get to respond to my comments. And I'm over here like me acting like I have a three-year-old, a.k.a. Lenny, <laughs> outside the door. Like, mom, open the door. Mom, open the door. And I'm like, I'm in my break. I'm in my break or whatever. But I'm over here just trying to respond to comments. Because no más salgo y I'm trying to lick my feet. Like, boy, get the fuck out of here. All right. I cannot get this to be super crisp. I don't have my glasses on. But it looks good, right? I could shit. Yeah, I could. Look it. So this is what I'm trying to fucking. Hold on. I can't get it to be super round. We need a silent moment right now. For the stupid French. <sighs> I need to erase a little bit. Fuck it. Just leave it like that, Zule. Fuck it, thug life. Just leave it like that, honey. Um, this hand is <clears throat> is from Red Iguana. Hold on. All right, let's stick it in for one minute. Make sure that you guys cure the gel really, really good because if you do not cure black gel or any gel. It will wrinkle. So if you guys ever have trouble with your gels wrinkling or chipping is because you did not cure them good. I can find the nail polish on your website. Um, Jess, you just go to the gel category. Um, let me see if I can help you. Go to gel polish and it's under painting gels. I don't know where I left my other stupid phone. This one is, is dying. But it's under painting gels. There's going to be a picture of four, <clears throat> four, gel, four painting gels. And then you just click the drop down menu. Especially black gel polish. Uh-huh. Yeah, black gel polish is one of the hardest ones to full cure. But as long as you apply a really thin coat, you should be fine with our painting gels. And again, it also depends on your lamp. If you guys have a really small lamp under 30, 48 watts. Zule, I can't pin. Hold on. Let me check you because um, Sharon, hold on, hold on. Was telling me she couldn't pin. Hey, you could pin that? What? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you, Janie? There you are. Let me check you. If anybody else can't pin or stuff like that, oh, yeah, you could. Or, huh. No, you could pin, Janie. All right, try it. Let's see if you can pin now. It said you, you did have it on. I couldn't. I never could. Huh, what? All right, let me see you, crafty mommy bees. Um, hold on. Hold on, guys. Let me check. Oh yeah, yeah. You either. Okay, there. I changed it. If anybody else can't pin, um, I can't. Hold on. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can, Janie. You just have to hold it. <clears throat> um, your setting is on for pinning comments. All right. Let's do another one. We're going to do one more. All right, so I'm going to do another French. So just in case you guys are just joining and you miss the last French, I do take my sweetest time. Um, 
painting because I don't have that much practice. But hey, it's low and steady wins the race. Um, this painting gel is a little thicker than a normal, regular um, nail polish. So, I have seen people dip them in water. Like, not the polish, right? The bottle, like, warm it up. And it loosens a little bit more. So, did you guys know that... <clears throat> did you guys know that... How do you call it? Um... In the summertime, our gel gets more runny. And in the winter, it gets thicker. May someone please pin my comment. Zule was the best thing to use to clean my brush. Use alcohol. If you're using paint like brushes like these, alcohol. Um, what did you say, Izzy? Delay, did I miss this Manziho only life? No, 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 no. Um, I was actually just saying earlier that I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to do the live next week. I'm not sure if on Tuesday or Wednesday. Because I'm going to do your nails on the live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you guys um are jail, jail people... And in the winter time, it starts to get thicker. I've seen people um, warm them up, kind of like, like let's pretend you had a little dish of water, little warm water, and you dip it in there, and then you take it out, and it'll be warm, so it won't be too thick. So, um, yeah, if you guys ever have your little thick gel, is because of the weather. But some, like, some gels are just naturally thicker, you know? But just notice that as the temperatures start to change. Um, oh, that, what about a candle warmer? That, that probably will work. You just don't want to leave it on there all the time. Just to loosen it up a little and then you take it off. You don't want it to damage the product. Mm -hmm. Not too hot, just something kind of warm. And then I'm just using my gel brush um, to, how to call it, fill in the nail. Um, I'm going to be doing these with glitter, but you do not want to apply the glitter directly to the black because um, black already is hard to cure on its own. So if you guys throw glitter on top, the light won't be able to penetrate it and it will fall off. So if you guys are doing black, black, um, glitter Frenchies or anything like that, make sure to do the color first and dry it good. And then, um, add the glitter on top. Well, I'm going to show you guys, but I just felt like I should say that because normally when I do, um, sugar nails, I throw it directly onto the nail. Zule, how do you store your drill bits? I have a little box. Um, I'll show it to you right now. Hold on. I have a little drill bit box, but I be having my bits everywhere sometimes. Look, I have this little drill box that we had a long time ago. And you just kind of like stab them in there. I've been wanting to bring it back, but to be honest, um, it's hard to compete with Shein. I think they have it now. So maybe you guys can find it there on Amazon. Um, I, I released that box like three, two, three years ago. And I haven't been wanting to buy it again only because like all these companies now started to sell shit like that. And it's like, how am I going to compete with them? I can't. They're always going to be able to keep that shit, like, way cheaper. Hey, hold on. Hello? <clears throat> no. No, because why did I think that was someone? Yeah, it looks real, huh? All right, hold on, guys. All right, I'm going to do the cushion nail. 
no it's not a real hand guys it is from red iguana.com all right who's ready to see something new today Woo. i'm gonna do a cushion nail what time is it alexa what time is it it's 3 oh it's 3 41 what is the best way to apply foil effectively <clears throat> you need to have a good a really good um painting i mean a foil gel and and good quality foils not all foils work the same either like they look similar but they don't apply the same so some foils are cheaper than others and um also you have to cure the gel for the the um right time so if you have my foil gel it is 60 seconds for most lamps all right so i'm gonna do a little bit of top coat on here this is what i'm gonna be using guys okay just in case anybody asks i'm gonna use the late top coat and then another thing is you have to rub really good if you do not rub in a certain section um the <clears throat> the how do you call it the foil will not stick in the area you didn't rub how much is the hand i think the hand is like 170 cookies right all right i'm gonna do the quilt on this nail i'm gonna try to do i haven't done this in a long time well actually i haven't done this specific one all right, so I'm just going to guide myself with dots first. I'm going to do little dots because they have to be about the same length and shit. So, yeah, this is my first time attempting it with gel. So let's pray that it fits. Ooh, I mean, that it looks good, honey. So I'm just going to guide myself with dots, okay? So let's see. I normally do it with acrylic, but it's just kind of hard to um, to achieve on such a long nail, especially on the fake hand, because, you know, it just doesn't, it's not the same. So pretty much, like if I'm making polka dots, that's going to be my, my, my freaking outline, okay? I'm going to try to do a quilt effect nail with gel. You guys will see it right now. Literally, I am I just went down the nail putting dots. Like if I'm doing polka dots. Literally, this is exactly what I would do if I was doing a polka dotted nail. I always do the middle first. And then I do the other ones in between. Um... What is a good cheap primer and dehydrator? Um, I recommend our Ultimate Prep Trio. You get all three for 25 cookies. And it works amazing. Or if you just want to buy a specific one, they are 10 cookies. So you want to make sure that, how do you call it? The dots are about the same, how do you call it, um, spacing. We're going to make diamonds right now. Diamonds are forever. forever. Oh my God, it looks so real, huh? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to be using... I don't know if I'm going to use this brush, actually. I'm going to look for a little one. If you guys are new here, I recommend my full line of products. Um, I know most of you guys didn't know that I have a brand. But you guys can find everything I'm using on my website. The link is on the bio. So I'm just going to cure this real quick. Um, so when I put the little dots and stuff, the little lines, no se me muevan. We have everything available from top coat to brushes to files. Everything is, is affordable and it is um, high quality, okay? Um, oh yeah, we're also going to need our little lamp, our little LED lamp. 
So I'm going to be flash carrying my gel. If you guys haven't got this black one, I recommend it. It is a lot more powerful than the pink one. As you guys can see, it has more little light bulbs. It has, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 little bulbs. <clears throat> All right, yeah. So if you guys haven't tried anything, I recommend to grab a, a item or two. And then um, see for yourself. But if you guys ever have any questions about anything, you guys can feel free to email us or just join us on our lives. Because most of the time, the new items, we always make videos using so that you guys can know how to use them. And that's one thing that I've told a lot of my followers. Like, dude, there's not a lot of companies that do shit like that. Like, they do not teach you how to use their shit. They just sell it to you and that's it. And, um, I used to be like, how the fuck do I use this shit or whatever, right? And so that's why I try my best to always show the stuff where I would be clueless as a beginner. Like, how would I use this? So literally, I'm just going to try to do a diamond. It doesn't have to be fucking perfect. Just something looking like a little diamond. <clears throat> oh, my throat is getting itchy. <clears throat> Hold on. Zule, I have the trio, but I never use the non-acid one. Always a dehydrator and the acid. Is that okay? Yeah, um, it's optional to use them three. You don't have to use all three if you don't want to. I just personally like to add one coat of each because um the non, I mean, the acid one <clears throat> is for like, mm, se dicen? los lifters. So after you add the dot, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to flash cure this. <clears throat> so normally we add two coats of one primer, right? And that's what we were taught to add two coats. Um, so I do one coat of each. But if you don't want to use one of them, you could just do two coats of the other one. Excuse me. So literally, what I just did was I outlined the the diamond and then I put a little bit of gel in the center and flipped it around so it could try to focus in the middle. I didn't really stay puffy, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Don't be stingy. I want it to stay there in the middle. It's going to add... Um, oh, wrong one. It's going to be puffy. So because the color is black, it's hard to to see also what the fuck I'm doing. So I'm just going to kind of like bring it to the sides and try to keep the center puffy. Hopefully you guys can see when I'm um, almost done. And I'm just going to flash cure throughout the nail. <laughs> I'm not going to fully cure them because I need to do a shitload of these fucking diamonds. So I'm going to repeat the process until I'm done. Hello, guys. Welcome. I am very good. And you can't complain. We woke up. We're breathing. So we are thankful. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I feel like it would look more like visible in a other color just a lot of things are kind of hard to do with um like black for example like um so i do want to bring this up if you guys ever try to use black glitter it will not sparkle okay so if you guys are if you guys bought my midnight sugar and you try to mix it with clear it's just gonna look like a black nail i don't know if it's because the colors just um, like it doesn't have nowhere to bounce the light from or something. I don't know. But it, when I was a beginner, um, one of my clients wanted a black glitter French, I think. And then I was like, OK, and I did it for her. But then when I put the top coat, it just looked like a fully black nail. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, what the hell? Like, bitch, I put glitter in there. And so, <clears throat> so how do you call it? 
um yeah that's why if you guys want like a black glitter it has to have like an undertone of something like holographic or something but yeah so it's looking a little puffy <clears throat> all right let me let me fold these stupid fingers so yeah don't try to use the glitter for uh acrylics because it's not gonna work it's not gonna be like sparkly as it is with when you apply it raw i'm gonna try to post them if i'm done so my diamonds are not coming out fucking snatched. I'm doing a half as job here. <laughs> the same would happen when I made glitter epoxy cups. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. It's a thing. I don't know why. So that's why we don't have a lot of like black glitter mixes because unless they're like a flat black mix with other colors, then they'll show. Oh, and it's this shiny like that, Janie? So I'm just flash curing with this little lamp, okay? I'm not fully, fully curing. I'll do that later. How's everybody doing? Welcome to our new followers. You are using clear, yes. Again, why are you turning the hand upside down? So the reason why I'm turning the hand upside down is so the gel can stay in the middle of the diamond and it stays like a little pimple like a little bubble so i'm outlining the little diamond because it's supposed to be like a cushion nail vibes and then i'm gonna finish the rest of the nail um so you want to fill it in with the gel and then I add an extra blob of it. How do you call it? Um, and I, I turn that hand upside down so it can, like if it's going to drip, but it doesn't. And you flash cure quickly. So look, this is how much I put. And then you turn it around fast as fuck, boy, before it drips somewhere. And then, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Turn upside down to make the gym. You working with gravity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gravity. Look it. Okay, so you guys can kind of see the little bumps now that I have more than one. The texture. You guys can definitely add more later on if you want to. But I'm just trying to make a, um, a quilt. So normally, I would do this effect with acrylic and a floss stick. But it would obviously not look exactly like this it would look different but i don't trust myself and the floss and this fake hand right now maybe i'll try it in my, on myself in the future but not right now if anybody has a different method you guys feel free to comment below like um i've never tried it just with acrylic though like doing this part um the fake hand you guys can find it on red iguana.com <clears throat> you guys can use code zule for a discount how do you come up with designs you just freestyle yes i do excuse me i'm not gonna lie freestyles are kind of stressful sometimes um, because I get an idea. Okay, so my original thing was I want to use these charms. That was my main idea today. Like, I want to use one of these charms because they're pretty, they're elegant, and I want to take a break from Halloween because I already did a Halloween set the other day. <clears throat> and, um, can I use hard gel to do this? I don't know. I don't have hard gel. I don't use hard gel, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure you probably could. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, normally, when I do a freestyle, I like to get a, a... 
normally i'll be like okay let me think of a color that i want to use or a if there's a charm or a specific item that i'm trying to use i pick that first and then i start to gather my ideas little by little and then i just go with the flow i go with the flow after that sometimes i'm not as happy with the with the design but little by little like i'll be like oh i do love that i do look at a look at an ocean i like it a lot um can you use super glue for your designs yes i mean for your press-ons yes you can but i'd be careful you don't want to put too much glue and then it rips your nail <clears throat> so check it out i already did my second cushion on this side and the more i do the the better it looks so you have to keep the pattern your rubber base gel is to use under press-ons right yes you can use it under the press-ons or for a manicure i actually just posted a video today on a gel manicure if you guys are interested you guys can go check that out on my youtube later today um it does i do talk a little bit about the rubber based gels there dory tell them about your lamp um which which lamp the little one <clears throat> this one is a flash wait where the fuck did i put it a flash lamp a little lamp or my oh the new one oh that, i don't have it in stock right now i'm gonna release it towards the end of the november or december so check it out i'm waiting for my next batch of lamps so I'm just trying to do the little diamond. But we are going to have our subscriber live only next week. So make sure to have your notifications on and to subscribe. Um, how do you call it? To subscribe to our TikTok here. To the Zhos because I'm going to be having some raffles this Actually, I am going to be doing a raffle of the press-ons this next um, subscriber live. And then I may have a special little surprise raffle as well. Um, on November, I'm going to be raffling the, the, how do you call it, the Nespresso machine. For those of you guys who didn't know, I am raffling a Nespresso machine to my subscribers um, that have been subscribed. Obviously, every month you guys are subscribed, I put your name in a um, jar. So if you guys have been subscribed for a whole year, you have 12, you're gonna have 12 entries or 11 or whatever the fuck the math is from when we started. And then, ooh. And then in December, I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to raffle a lamp. I'm going to raffle a Zule lamp. I'll probably decorate it for you guys too. If I have time. Or maybe not. Because. How to call it. I don't know if y'all want it to be decorated. Yeah. And then too. On December. I believe 18 is our anniversary. Of our subscribers. So my f top 10 subscribers. I will be naming an acrylic after them this new year when i release like my new collection a new collection of colors i'll be naming our top 10 um subscribers their the name is going to be after you guys the first 10. no judith i have more kaidos mm -hmm. so if you guys are our first 10 subscribers you guys are gonna be named after an acrylic how exciting uh-huh i was like maybe i should name some gels after you guys 
Yeah. I'm out. Where are you going? <clears throat> and every season, I'll choose the next the next house. I was like the third Z ho. Yeah, I have to check. I have to check who my top ten is. I looked. I forgot already. All I know is that Lori is number one. I know Stephanie, Zach. Who else was on there? I think. Um. Who the fuck did I say? I don't remember who the fuck else was there. <sighs> um, I had oh problems with the emails. Yeah, so Jimena and Janie, I think, probably are like in the second part. Maybe in in the spring collection. <laughs> um, how do you make the nails stay? Mine always fall out. Are you using the red iguana nail tips? If you are not. If you are not, how to call it, um, then I recommend to buy those. I want to meet you someday. Yes, one day I will get to meet a lot of you guys. Where are you from? I know my sales are high, though. Uh, imagine I should make my... I, I wouldn't even know how to fucking check everyone's sales. Like, who's my top collector in sales, you know? Like, in, there's this girl that I follow... There's this girl that I follow. She um, has collectors as well. But like she doesn't have nail stuff. It's more like art pieces. And she does like a brunch with her collectors. Like her top collectors. People who have spent like 10000 or more on her or whatever. They would um, like go have like a brunch with her or whatever. That would be kind of dope. But like if you think you're one of the top... Oh, andale la sand, the sand one, her. She's like, she does that. And I was like, damn, this fucking dope. <laughs> All the collectors are in there. So I was like, one day I will have something like that. <laughs> Sorry, Judith, you're not a Zho. You need to be a part of the Zho club. <laughs> no cutting lines. No cutting. So, do you guys see the effect that we have going on? Like that purse, the Chanel. <clears throat> I have a few collectors. Shout out to y'all. The only way I can check that is if I go under your name. But Janie definitely has one of the biggest collections. The top collections. Who else has a big collection here? Who do you who has a big collection? Oh my god, guys. I have good news. Guess what? Guess what? Who can guess what is my good news? All right, let me start to fill in the other ones. I've been a Z-Ho for 243 days. Yes, honey. We have a Z-Ho outing, a collab. No, I wish. Remember, I had... um. Hi, can you say hi, Chloe? I always watch you. Hi, Chloe. I know, Sondra, ni digas eso, por favor. I am not pregnant, girl. No, no, no more lamps until the end of November, probably. Um, no, 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 no. Remember I told you guys that I had a lost package? My big order got lost. It was found. I'm like, yes, bitch. I'm so excited. Yeah, they found it. They um so my customer messaged me and they sent it to her. Yeah, so she's gonna send it back since I had already shipped her a, a second package. So I was like, oh thank God, bitch. <clears throat> I was like, no mames, wait. 
Yeah, I told my mom, I was like, dude, guess what? They found the package. So thank baby Jesus. And thank my client. Yes, and thank you, Candace, also, because anybody else would have been like, well, she already sent me another package. I'm just going to keep it, right? Because a lot of people do that. Don't lie. Please don't lie. I have clients, like clients, clients, who be like, well, I guess shit like that would happen, that their packages will get lost, and then they would keep them. I'm like, that's fucked up. You return that shit. They're like, no. So I am grateful for my honest clients, my honest customers. Um, <clears throat> like a small package, I wouldn't really care, you know, but that was a really big package. Anybody else would have been me. I would have shared it with Jimena. Oh, hell no. Nah. Jimena would have rat you out. <laughs> like Zach, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, Zach. Did you get your press-ons already? Yeah, so I was really happy. I was like, yay, finally. It's been <laughs> it's been uh almost a month, I think, that, that package was lost. So I am very grateful it was found. So this nail is definitely coming through. She would have sent it right back to you. Huh. I was like, no. All right, this nail is coming out so fucking cute. I don't know if you guys can see the quilt effect or not, but it just looks like a nice, shiny, textured nail to me. All right, let me just cure this. I know, I'm so happy they found it. Who the fuck is dialing the phone? It's coming together. It's going to be Buchona vibes. <laughs> when will you be using your sculpting gels again? I don't know. I um I need to find a set where I can use it cuz I have so many products that I want to use but I don't have I guess it just has to go with the um what is it called with the idea or or it has to come to my brain. I forget I have them to be honest. Sometimes I even forget I have some gels. Like I've been trying to use my gels more. Because I have so many beautiful colors. <gasps> Where did I put it? On here. I have so many beautiful colors. But I don't get to use them. So if you have an idea that you would like to share, let me know. Um, I could probably do like a 3D pumpkin or some. I, I still want to do the Kirby nails with all the little food. Remember when we used to make foods and stuff? Yes, I am also putting it on the corners. But I wanted to do this side first. So I'm going to come back to this side right now. I just wanted to see the whole thing already. Actually, let me start putting it here. Yeah, let's see. What else do I have that I haven't used in a while? Start making a list and leave it on your desk so you can see it, girlfriend. That list is going to get trashed. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be smart and I'm going to do two at a time. Two at a time. So this would actually look really cute on a French nail. So if any of you guys recreate this um, quilt set in a French, I want to see. I want to see what it looks like. That looks sexy, I'm sure. They will be cute, Kirby. Yeah, I've been wanting to do Kirby. Because you know how he eats all kinds of shit and I can make tacos and hot dogs again? Um, yeah, maybe a Halloween one. Oh my God, you know what? Oh my God, that's so cute. I told El Jefe that I want him to take me to Disneyland for our anniversary. So maybe I could do a Mickey Kirby snack halloween and they could be like um disney snacks and shit or you know what i mean something like that 
Oh my god. And then and then Kirby could pretend he ate Mickey and he could have Mickey ears or Mickey pumpkin ears or some shit. But then I also want to do a Day of the Dead for Disneyland. I want to do a Coco. I'm going to try this on a French DM you the pics. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys don't want to take this long on a fucking nail, just do a French because it's definitely taking forever. I love Coco. Uh-huh. I want to see those ghost duckies, glue lady. <laughs> you know what? I ordered the kit from Dash Nails, actually, so I could do the the uh, water nails. So I'll probably um wait until I get that so I could do the ghost because I want to do like something else with the ghost. You can do Coco and the yeah, I know I could, but it's because it's so hard to do one hand. It's easy to do one hand, all that detail, and the other one is really hard unless I just stick them on. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this live and you're learning, make sure to subscribe. And also, um, follow me on YouTube. All these lives, I put them up on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is also Zule's Nails. Um, so in the case that you are at work and you miss one of these lives, you guys can watch the full live on there. Um... And you can watch them over and over again. Pause them, rewind them, whatever you like. You can definitely do. I love sharing all my little ideas and stuff. And it's free, you know. All you got to do is give me a like. Give me a comment. Tap the screen, you know. That's it. <sighs> nice. Will, will you be doing a review of the kit live? Um, I want to do a video, um, for YouTube, like, I want to try it out first, you know, unpackage um, it and all of that, maybe not live, because I don't want to look like a fool on the live, you know, what if I start leaking or something, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, we'll see when it arrives, it, if, if it arrives by our subscriber live, then I'll do it then. Oh, yeah, that's my nickname for Zach. That's what he calls me. So this little lamp... Oh, damn, I made a lot a big cushion on that one. So this little lamp is... I wait. Is available on my website. Is what I'm using to flash cure. It is really strong. It flash cures really goddamn fast. Like in five seconds, you have a flash cure where the gel's not gonna move anymore. Like, of course, it's not fully, fully cured, but um, it's cured enough so it freezes in place, you know? How did I get that name? Which one? The glue lady? Believe me, your inspo. Thank you for sharing your experience and your talents. Thank you, Sonia. Yeah, I try my best to share everything well almost everything you know because how to call it um i i honestly feel that i am here to guide others you know like like that quote says be the change you want to see in the world so because this world is not that nice there's not a lot of nice people i would like the nail industry and just the world to be nicer man and to be more fucking helpful, not see each other like fucking competition. And that's what I'm here for. Like, not a lot of bitches like me for whatever fucking reason, but I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm here to share what I know and what I've learned through all my whole fucking life. Not just nails, bitch. Like, all my experiences I try to share here and there. We we have little fucking therapy up in here in the lives. And how do you call it? Like, I feel like we all go through stuff for a reason. Like, I went through all of that so I can come and share it to you guys. And you don't feel alone in your, in your, um, 
journey, you know, because a lot of the time, a lot of people, especially in a business, we deal with the same shit, but nobody talks about it. Not a lot of people talk about it because I don't know why people don't like to talk because you're going to get judged or whatever, or you're just afraid to share because you think you're the only one going through it. Well, let me tell you, you're not like everybody goes through the same shit for the most part, like slow seasons, no clients or clients that don't want to pay you or whatever the fuck, you know, like everybody goes through the fucking same struggle. Everybody does. No matter. I don't give a fuck what people say. They do. They just don't want to talk about it, you know, and it's normal. We are here. We have a little nail community now where we get to become friends and support each other. Um, I'm just outlining the little diamond and then turning the finger so it leaves the puffy, the puffiness at the at the tip. So um yeah, that's why I feel like I ended up on TikTok to be honest, because uh um when TikTok was new, I did not want to come onto TikTok because when I did come on TikTok, all I was seeing was negativity. I would see negativity in the comments of other people, you know, like I, I just would log in and I didn't even know how to use TikTok, but I would look at any video that would pop up, whether somebody was selling cups or candies or whatever the fuck they were doing. There was always like 90% of the comments there were negative and discouraging. And I was like, that is so fucked up. Like, why are people like that? So I was like, I do not want to join this platform and come see negative shit. Like, uh-uh. I'm trying to be positive. The less negative, the better. And then slowly but surely, it has transformed a little bit. Not saying that I did all of that because there's still negative people in people's comments. But like now we have a more positive community in a way, you know? Where we're not afraid to share our shit. I low-key made one extra lumpy. So I have to kind of make a one here. And I hope that you guys do the same for the future generations, you know? The light. Where can, where can I get it? You can find it on my website. The link is on the bio. Um, can you explain the other lamp differences? Well, the only and the main difference is <clears throat> the wattage. So what this lamp does, it just flash cures. What that means exactly is it's going to cure it. It's going to like hold it, cure it enough to hold it in place so it doesn't move or get fucked up by the time you put in the lamp. So I normally like to use this little lamp when I'm doing clusters too um, because... When you are doing a cluster, the big crystals move around sometimes, you know, from from here to the lamp. And so you flash cure it. You want to flash cure it. So by the time you insert your hand into the lamp, it doesn't move, you know, it stays in place. So that's what these are for, to just flash cure. And then you still have to cure it in the lamp. But I'm going to do a full cure in a little while. I'm almost done. I'm so proud to say this is a supportive, loving space to learn. Yes. Thank you very much, you guys, for also being positive. Because, honey, in the first kind of few months, we did have a bunch of trolls up in here. We had to fight bitches. Eh? But you know what? I truly believe that baby Jesus doesn't allow that to come into my life anymore because I don't entertain it either. I try not to. When people try to kill my vibe, it's like, baby Jesus, like, nope, nope, Zule, you are not going back to your troubled days. You're a different woman. <laughs> you cannot do that anymore. I'm like, okay, fine. Hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> Hold me fucking back before I fucking fuck this bitch up. Like, the only thing that I have left is my cuss words, okay? 
A lot of people call me bent ghetto, but I don't give a fuck. That's the last thing I have left from my ghetto-licious days. All right, so there is the nail. Um, You can definitely add more puffies, quilts, pillows, whatever the fuck you want to call it, on the ones that are not as puffy. But I ain't going to do that because these already took a long ass time, bitch. Do that on your own time. <laughs> We're going to give it a full cure now. We're going to give it a full cure. Hold on. <sighs> that took like 30 minutes. Thanks for watching. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let me put this one away. And now it's time for decoration. Yeah, bitch. My favorite. Okay. So let's see. What am I going to do? I'm going to put a Chanel. Oh, fuck. I, call. I have all kinds of dusties here. Hmm. Should I put a black Chanel or a white Chanel? What do you guys think? Should I put the black one or the white one? <laughs> fuck. I have all kinds of dust on this shit. White? Fuck. You guys are going to make me go steal one. <laughs> Okay, let me do a poll while my light is drying. I mean, my hand. Welcome, everyone, whoever's just joining. Um, We're going to do a poll real quick to see which charm I put. Should I put a black charm? This one, a black heart charm, or a white one? So if you guys want the black one, put the happy face. If you guys want the white one, put the crime face. And welcome to our new subscribers. I see we have a new subscriber, too. Or three, I don't even know. If you guys want the black charm, put the happy face. If you guys want the white one, put the crying face. So I'm going to be putting it on the nude one. Oh, maybe the black one. <gasps> yes, honey. Look, you guys could even do YSL. That would look real nice. You know, like with a YSL charm. For those of you guys who are YSL ladies. Super cute. Or you could even put it here. I'm going to put a pearl one because Gu uh, Gucci, the fuck? La Chanel tiene pearls. So fucking pretty, bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm excited, bitch. Bitch, why could you not be my fucking nails, you whore? Why it had to be you? All right, so I guess black it is. I'm going to do... <sighs> Hold on. Yeah, I had all these charms ready just in case. So let me get my cluster gel. Actually, no, I'm just going to glue it on with the labeling adhesive because why not? Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you for the gift. Yeah, the white would look so pretty too, but I feel like we're going to do something white right now in a second to make it pop. All right, let me do the black little heart. I was telling El Jefe about this, and he was like, I was asking him, like, do you think this would look better than the old game and dry bitch and dry? And then he's like, that is not, that is not, like, elegant. <laughs> well, he didn't mean it like that. He meant, like, it's too ratchet at this point. <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, I am ratchet. You know, like, everything about me is ratchet. That's why everybody likes my shit because we are not basic, you know, like here and there is good to be simple. But for the most part, you best believe we're going to be extras because remember, like I told you guys, we need to stand out. We're not going to blend in. We're going to stand the fuck out. And that's how you're going to get your clients. All right. So I'm going to put this charm here. And it will be easier to put it with a cluster gel, but... I don't want to have to take it out. All right. Mm -hmm. Like right here, they look cute already. Just with the one charm. You don't need all that charms. But you can always... You can always add and remove, you know? Whatever you like. So check it out. And again, everything that I'm using, you guys can find this on my website. 
Um, let me see if I have another charm. <clears throat> let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my good honey. I could have put this one. I forgot that I had it. The bling one. Nah, but that one looks kind of nice, huh? That one looks like a purse. Kind of. What do you guys think? I'm going to put one of these. These charms, you guys can find them on my website as well. Link on bio. Ooh, this one is cute, Becky. But no, I used that one already before. All right, hold on. Oh, yes, Miss Mary in here. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Zule, I'm trying to get into school. Do you have to physically go or can you do online first? Um, actually, you can ask Mary. Mary, are you still in here? Because she is in Georgia. Where are you at, Katrina? Um, she has online courses as well. So, um, I'm not sure if you can do both. I, I don't know because when I went to school, it was just physically. There was no online anything. Or maybe in college, but you know. Let me go blow my nose really quick and then we're going to start to bedazzle, dazzle. My favorite. So I sound a little stuffy right now because I need to blow my nose. Hold on. Let me see if I have Sorry, guys. All right. Do I sound better now or what? Is all clear? All right. I'm back. <clears throat> you guys can find everything that I'm using today on my website. The link is on the bio. So if you are looking for these charms, you can find them on there as well. You can look for the, the nail tips, everything. Even the glue. This is the best glue in the whole wide world. Okay. <laughs> it air dries. If you guys are not into air dried glues, then I recommend our cluster gel. Um, which is this one. So normally I would use the cluster gel for like charms like this. But of course the bling adhesive is really strong as well. So it will hold it. Um, if this was a real client, I would just throw in some more in this gap just to make sure it's, it's Gucci and it does not go fucking nowhere. But again, depending on, on um, what finger or whatever it is that you're doing is how much glue you're going to put. Now let's take out some bling bling. Oh my God, this is my favorite. All right. They eat. All right. I don't think I need my lamp anymore. So... Put it to the side. All right. I'm going to use a couple black crystals because they are beautiful. And these are so beautiful. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to put gold little balls in between. What do you guys think? Or should I just leave like this? <sighs> Hold on. There's dust and glitter and everything. Should I just leave the quilt nail like this? Or should I put small, small, um, gold balls? I wait. Let me put the black bling first. The index looks like quilted Chanel purse now, right? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I was like, hmm. All right. You guys already know I need to put bling. I need to make it extra, extra. So that's what I'm going to do. I may fuck them up for somebody. Like, somebody gonna be like, nope. 
you fucked it up. You should have just not done that. Because El Jefe told me, sometimes I do that. Like, for his taste, you know, he's more basic. If he was a girl, he'd be the basic bitches, you know? Like, the simple French type of gals. Which is fine. But I'm the and more extra, the better. If I'm going to break a bitch's neck when I'm passing by, it's not going to be because I have a big ass. It's because I have big, bomb-ass nails. <laughs> She's going to be like, let me see your fucking nails, bitch. Let me see your fucking nails. That's going to be me, okay? I'm going to break a bitch's neck with my nails is what I'm going to do. No, it's kidding. I'm going to break nobody's neck. They're just going to be like, bitch. Bitch. Chapstick and mascara kind of heavy. <laughs> That is so funny. Yeah, he's more of a elegant gal. More basic, more, you know? Um, and I think that's why me and him work because we balance each other and stuff. But I'm like, mm, mm I'm extra, extra. Actually, he has toned me down so much. Oh, pearls will look really nice too. But I don't have the white pearls. I only have the AB finish. Made acrylic press-ons for me and my coworker using blood acrylic. Oh, yes, honey. Yeah, so, um, yeah, El Jefe toned me down. He made me more relaxed because I used to be more ghetto-licious. I still am, but. Like, he's learning to relax me. So, you know, we could do more bling. Or I could turn this into a flower, you know? Like, I don't know. Ooh, I do have an event. <gasps> oh, my God. I don't know if I should do that. Should I just do bling or should I make this into a flower? Look, I could put... The bling there. Oh, yes. Do it a flower? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Bling? You guys don't see... You guys don't see my vision. That's why... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's on and popping. Yes. All right. Flower it is. Don't, don't type anymore. I don't want to see it. <laughs> don't type anymore. <clears throat> you wish that was your hand, huh, Dory? Yes. Like, fuck you, bitch. Why you gotta be so cute? All right, hold on, guys. Let me get some gold balls as well. I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use yet, so I do have some flat balls. Let me put them here. Um... So you guys can also find these on my website. They are flat, just like me. Do you use the clamp with your hand? Yes. I do use the clamp from Ready Guana. Oh, fuck. L hold on. I'm missing the little, the smaller ones. Let me go get some little ones. You know what? I'm going to have to recreate these on myself. Or, I don't know. i just really, really digging them. Flat just like me. Yeah, bruh. The whole time, I thought it was a real hand. No, it's not a real hand. Oh, my God. I got the wrong ones. I need the smaller ones. Hold on. Wrong ones.
All right, guys. There you go. These are the little ones. I don't know if I'm going to use them, though. Does anyone know what is the name of Zule's hot pink acrylic? Hot pink? Did I use it recently? Oh, you know what? Are you talking about Bugambilia? I'm supposed to look to see if I have any more of those. I forgot. All right. Oh, here's my pen. All right. If it's Bugambilia, I need to check if we have any leftover. Um, I don't remember if we have any leftover from the pop-up or not. Can't remember. All right, I'm going to put some of these um, gold balls. These big gold balls. They're so beautiful. You know, because we need to incorporate a little bit of gold in here. And then I'm just going to do the other side. Um, you guys can find these charms on my website. The link's on the bio. Everything that I'm using right now, you guys can find there. Under, um, like, if you're looking for the charms, you go to charms category. Oh, shit, get out. Charms category, if you're looking for... Um, for the most part, just look through the charms category. If you're looking for some crystals, then in the bling bling category, you know? Or just look through new items and you can look at everything. So that looks so pretty. I think I'm going to put one more little diamond, a little black one in there. Um, Let me see. Let me put a little black diamond in the middle. Yeah, so the only thing that I don't sell that I'm using is the hand. But everything else, you guys can go check it out on the website. <clears throat> okay this is looking so cute Zule, you play all right you know what before i put this glue away i'm gonna put my charm here <coughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. i'm gonna put this one i don't know if it goes like this oh shit i don't know if it goes like this or like this but i'm gonna put it this way Maybe we need a little bit more glue. What's on the pinky? The pinky is just um gel. All right, I'm going to put this charm. Again, I would probably do cluster gel to hold them, you know, a little hold them steady and shit. But I'm not going to put cluster gel because... I'm impatient as fuck. I need my shit to dry fast as fuck, boy. So I just put some glue and then I sprayed it with activator. <clears throat> so it dries fast. And then I would go in with a little bit of glue. Just let it drop. To um, seal in that little gap. It's like a hold on for life. I don't know if I should put one on the pinky. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know yet. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> so check it out. What do you guys think? Should I put these little gold balls in between? I kind of feel like I want to, but then I kind of like it without them. Like in between each little diamond. Can you guys see them or should I put the medium sized one? Now the little one will be perfect. How that would look kind of cute. <clears throat> Alright, everybody's saying yes. Okay, majority rules. Whoever says no at this point, you're a liar. Nah, just kidding, you're a hater. Nah, no little? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do the little ones. Let me zoom in. I'm sorry if I sound like a carro que no prende. That's what El Jefe tells me. He's like, you sound like a car that doesn't start. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> All right. So literally, I'm just going to put them in where they intersect. It's true. I do. It's because I have a pinche algo metido ahí. 
Yeah, he was selling. He's like, te voy a comprar una nueva, un nuevo starter. I'm like, what? <laughs> that shit was a fucking hit. hilarious. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to do that no more. It's so annoying. Um, this is a fake hand. It's from Red Iguana. Oh shit, that one. So these little balls, I like them because they're flat on one end, and so they're. No lie, I can't see them. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me um put it at a different angle. It's because the lighting. But they are really little. I didn't want to put them too big because what if they take up like too much too much attention? So these stupid balls are supposed to be easy to apply, but I guess my stick is too too fucking flat. Um, and it just doesn't grab good. Raise your hand if you were not trusting the process and you were like, uh, yeah, this is looking like a hot mess. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell were you thinking, ma'am? Don't worry, because I have those thoughts a lot of the times. If you did, it's okay to come forward because I'd be doing... I be second guessing these designs sometimes. I'm like, oh my god, Lord, Lord. <clears throat> Dude, did I put it? It's kind of hard though to see um where they intersect. To be honest, I'm kind of blind. The glare does does fuck up my shit. All right, hold on. Donde put the glue? Oh, que la verga. Yeah, so these designs are kind of tedious, but beautiful. Oh, you know what? I'm going to sharpen my tool. Because I keep getting them sideways. All right, let me just sharpen it. Just in case you guys don't know how to sharpen your tool, you just use a little file. And go like this. So you can make a little point. What did you put on the nail that makes it look like that? I put gel. Excuse me. I put gel. I put Quito gel. <clears throat> I put some Quito gel. It took me like forever, but it came out very, very nice. All right. I could definitely see these nails being like some wedding nails, huh? What other designer do you think would look good with a quilt? A quilted nail. Can you guys hear El Jefe? Is he too too loud? Is he being a little too loud? Or like a, he's on the phone. For Jimena? Jimena, is this up your alley, girl? Girlfriend. So I could tell him to lower it because that she's me and Norita. So if you guys are going to try this again, Zule, my painting just comes tomorrow. Woo, yes, honey. Yes. Dude, I can't even see my diamonds. Um try all oh, that this set would be like for you for a wedding wedding nail for you wedding nail honey these remind me of wednesday a little bit lucky um if you guys want to finish the diamonds faster the quilt diamond make them big as fuck because <clears throat> They are time consuming. My throat is kind of like itchy. Like what the hell? What the hell? Wedding nail? No, thank you. I need them white. Ay, pero si no eres santa. No eres santa, amiga. ¿Cómo va la canción de la Becky G? Yo no soy something... Santa y what? What's the song? Te la voy a poner ahorita. 
another love key g who the fuck knows the name of that song who knows the song hey you can make these in white they don't have to be black you can make these nails in any color you could even make them in pink. You know what? I'm going to have to do these on myself, but in pink. Okay? I feel like it would look cute with, like, Gucci theme in brown, too. Yes. Oh, that's true. They have a quilt. Yes. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. You know what? I think there's a Gucci charm in here somewhere. Is there a Gucci? No, I, I lied. There was no Gucci. Sky blue. <clears throat> or like in a mauve color, huh? We should try that. I've never done Gucci nails before. I might have to, so I could give Janie some inspo and she could wear her her Gucci purse. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Dame to Gucci, Gucci, mommy. Dame to Gucci, Gucci. All right, let's spray that. All right, let me move these out the way. Um, I still have a, like a gap somewhere over here, but I ain't going to put no more. I don't want to do that no more. I'm going to put a flower down. Um, let's see. I'm going to put a little flower on the middle finger. I'm going to do it white so it could pop. But if you guys are not into like white and stuff, you like this already, but you don't want to do white, you could always do a black flower, which will look amazing as well. No mala, no santa. Andale esa canción. <clears throat> I like that song. I like that song. All right. So I'm adding a little bit of acetone to my monomer right now. And I'm going to be using my white acrylic. And my number four 3D brush. Number four. Andale, esa pinche canción. All right, so we're going to do a 3D flood right now. I did go ahead and add some acetone to my monomer because that does speed up the dry time. If you guys need the time because you just want to press it longer or whatever, you can definitely skip that step. But I need, <clears throat> I need my shit to fucking dry fast. Oh, that's too fast. Actually, I need a number six brush. <clears throat> Hold on. I need to drink water. Actually, I'm going to get a size six. The number four is too small. It's too small for me right now. I need a big bead. So I'm switching it up to number six. So that's how big it looks. Number six. Depending on what you're going for is how big of a brush you need. Um, you could definitely achieve a big bead with a number four. But because I put acetone, I feel like it's not wetting it enough, you know. So the number six is perfect for a large bead. And it is also going to give me time to work with it, but dry fast at the same time. So... I I work in Los Angeles. I am from Beaumont, California. So I want a big flower because I love the flowers. Dory, I'm sad my video of the pop-ups me arruinó because my phone got fucked up. No. Why? What happened? What happened to your video? What happened? Don't worry. I got a video. I mean, a photo. All right. I'm going to do... I'm going to put a second bead in this one. So that's why it has to be big. Big, big. All right. So get your other bead. has to be nice and big. Nice and juicy. So, yeah, I do work in Los Angeles, California, but I do live out here in the desert. Can you say hi, Heidi? Hi, Heidi. How are you? Welcome. Welcome very much. I mean, welcome, welcome. I always say hi to everybody. So, if you guys want me to say hi to you, let me know. 
I love to chit chat. I like to witty, witty, witty. I hate when people are full of themselves and don't fucking say hi. Like, bitch, calm your titties down. Just say hello. <laughs> How much would this cost? All the nails that I do that are long as fuck are over $250. <clears throat> uh good you also thank you hi can you say hi to eric hola eric is that your your partner hi eric was freestyle hard for you girl freestyle still hard hi kristen welcome um yeah Freestyles are still difficult for me sometimes, especially when I'm overthinking. Too fitty? Yes, too fitty plus, not too fitty. Um, so I still struggle to freestyle, especially when people give me too many ideas, like or I have too many ideas. It's just hard. Yeah, Eric is my hubby. He always listens. Oh, how cool. Do you have these charms? Yes, we do sell these charms. You can find the link on the bio. Um, what's the most important when starting? What the most important when starting doing nails? Um, the most important thing is that you have good quality products. They don't have to be super expensive. But just make sure they're nice quality. You don't want to practice with crap, you know, because then you're never going to be able to get better because how are you going to know when the product is giving you a hard time? Get it, queen. Yes. Like a lot of people, I understand that my prices are expensive to a lot of people, but for the quality, the time and the skill, um, how to call it, it is pretty affordable now it's not for everybody that's why my fake hand my fake hand is only getting half because she can't afford the full price <laughs> so for you honey it's gonna be one fitty okay <laughs> one fitty yeah one fitty for you little hand it's this is time consuming. Just this now itself took me ages, okay? But how to call it? Um when I used to um when I was a beginner, I would have done this for you for 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Not no more. Mm -mm. Not no more. Obviously, back in the day, people didn't wear nails this long too. I actually have a set of nails somewhere in my Facebook that I did. That were Chanel with a quilt nail. Um, they were super little. And I think those nails I charged her like 50 cookies. I can't get Frenchie's right to save my life. It takes a lot of practice. Ana, Ana, Lisa, analyzing data. I thought your name was Annalisa for a second. It takes time. You just have to practice. Because sometimes I could get the Frenchies better one day than another. Like today, I kind of struggled. But then there's times where I get them a little faster. You just need to practice. Everything in life is all about practice. Even cooking, you know? Like, you may not be a good cook. But if you practice, you can get better. And with a lot of the things, you know, combing hair, making hairstyles, doing your fucking eyeliner, eyeshadow, whatever. You could fucking s struggle there forever. But the more you do it, the easier it gets, you know? Just some things don't ever get easier. Um, hi, Zule, can you, can I see your left hand, please? Yes, give me a second. Let me press this, this, this pedal right here. Um, let me show you both of the nails, because I don't know what my left hand is to you. Yes, this brush is on the website. Um, I apologize for my crusty nails. I'm using the number six Kalinsky brush, the 3D one. Um, <clears throat> that's the one I'm using. And I'm going to put one more little bead in the center of this one. Hmm, maybe not too big. But yeah, so just practice a lot. If you guys have been doing nails for less than two years... 
and you're pre you're struggling with something, whether it's French, whether it's, I don't know, shaping, it's totally normal. It takes a lot of repetitive, repetitive um, practice, you know, per repetitive times for you to get better. So the more that you do it, the better you will get. So if you are doing it for a year or less, but you do it only once a month, twice a month, it's normal to not see improvement as fast. It's kind of like if you go to the gym once a month. Like, bitch, you're never going to get skinny like that. <laughs> you know, you're never going to lose weight, bitch. I mean, maybe you lose like half a pound or whatever. But if you go every fucking day, you're going to see results sooner. The same is with nails. The more you do, the more you learn. Okay. Oh, Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> you're going to lose that shit. You take a dump in the gym, but that's it. And then you're going to get it back. You're going to lose it in sweat. You're going to lose that shit in sweat. But you guys get what I'm saying, right? Like, we cannot. Hi, Michael. How are you? You cannot get mad at the results, at your results for the work you are not putting in is what I'm trying to get at. So most of us, we get mad at, and I, I can say I was a part of that and I still am sometimes because I'll be like, man, what the fuck? And then I remember like, dude, you, you haven't put in the work. How do you expect those results? You know, and even when you do put in the work, Sometimes the results don't show that fast. So we have to be patient. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put some flitter. I'm going to start with the pinky. Because I don't know if I want to put flitter on both. But definitely um, the ring finger is extra. You don't have to do this if you want to recreate it. But if you like it, go ahead. Do it, do it, do it. Um, hi, uh, Andari, Andari, Andri. Hi, will you be able to upload this on YouTube? Yes, Evelia, I will be uploading this to YouTube. I'm hoping, oh shit. I uploaded a video today. Oh, hold on, let me get my gel. I uploaded a short manicure today, so I will probably give that video a day or two and then I'll upload this one. So, next, I'm going to do some sugar, sugar nail. Wait, where the fuck did it go? Where did my black sugar go? Hold on. I'm going to be using our midnight sugar. It is back in stock. So, if you guys have been wanting it, but it, you guys didn't get in your scoops when we did them last time, um, you guys can find it on the website now. Did you ever light up your, your candle? No, I didn't. I have them as decoration. I am not allowed to light candles in my house. <laughs> I'm never lighting them up. I have so many candles, but I don't light them up. I'm not allowed. I will burn my house down with a fucking candle. So I'm not allowed. Did I ever tell you guys my story? All right, so I'm going to go around and outline my fringe with the clear gel. So on a client, I recommend to scratch the surface of the nail. Maybe I should have done that too right now. Um, so I can see where the fuck I'm outlining. But dinner's almost ready, so I, I have to hurry up. All right, let me tell you guys the story again, just in case you guys haven't heard the story. So years ago, when I was like living in an apartment, um, I want to say it's been at least seven years ago. Yeah, definitely seven years ago. I used to light up a candle in the restroom, right? You know, when you take a shit, you light a candle so you can kind of relax you or when you're showering or whatever, because it smells good. Y pa que no huela caca. You know, you blow it up and it smells like fucking or whatever, right? So anyway, my fucking smart ass, my smart ass used to use matches. And I would leave them in the candle instead of throwing them away. 
Okay, so if you guys do that, throw away the fucking match. Don't leave it inside. Don't be a little bitch and leave it inside like I was. So tell me why I had a bunch of matches in there that kind of got stuck in there. With When they would dry up, they will get stuck in the candle. So one day I was cleaning my, my restroom. I think I was cleaning. I don't remember what I was doing. I was probably taking a shit. I don't fucking know. And how do you call it? Um, okay, let me sprinkle this on while it's still wet. I I was taking a shit, right? Or whatever. And tell me why my candle was like a fucking bonfire. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was in there for a long time. Que se hizo un pinche fire in my candle. I was so scared to turn it off i didn't even wanna it was so big like the full the full fucking candle was in flames <laughs> and i was in the restroom i didn't want to ask for help because i was like dude se va a desmayar el jefe cuando abra la puerta because i i had gone to the restroom and our restroom was really little our window didn't really let nothing out you know so you had to ventilate that shit <laughs> And then I was like, dude, I'm a fucking burning here, la verga. And then our restroom was so fucking little that if I did any bad movement, I could caught the fucking curtain on fire shit. Like our restroom was so tiny, like I could barely be in there. And um, yeah, I was like, oh my God, I need help. I need help or whatever. And then I was like scared to even get up because my pants were going to catch on fire. <laughs> And it was a whole ass fucking show, bitch. Que al último, I was like trying to blow that shit. I was trying to blow the fucking candle to turn off. But then the flame would move. And then I was like, <gasps> what if it jumps? And you know, like, oh, hell no, bitch. And then I was like, you know what? I need help. I I couldn't even get the lid to cover it porque me daba miedo. Because the flames were like really high already. I was like, oh, Lord. So then I called El Jefe. I'm like, I need help. I need a candle. And he's like, what do you mean? And then he brought a fucking plate and put it on top. I was so scared. And he's like, you're not allowed to light candles in here. Why'd you leave the matches in there? And I was like, I don't know. And so I don't light them up no more. And if I do, I have to make sure to take the matches out. But I just don't trust it. I'm scared. Me traume. Me traume. A lot of you guys are probably like, pinche pendeja, anybody? Everybody knows not to do that, but I did not know that back then, so don't laugh at me, bitch. <laughs> All right, so we're curing in the lamp. <sighs> yeah, so I have a bunch of candles. I love candles, but I do not light them up. I'm scared. Look at it. I have a cute little... um candy corn one i have i have um let me see where my other candles there's some in the door in the window yeah so and then stephanie gave me a pretty beautiful little candle that looks like a little witch's brew i want to paint it black that would look so cute in black look at how pretty this is honey and then evelia gave me some some candles that look like coffee, bitch. You made it? What? Really? How cool. I was showing it to my mom and she's like, Ay, que bonita. Should I put glitter on the middle finger too? <clears throat> Do you guys think I should put glitter on it too? Yay or nay? Yes, 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 no, yes, yes. Fuck it. Extra, somos extra, la verga. Look, do you guys want to see the candle? So pretty. I think my mom took it, actually. Okay, we're going to do... We're going to do another one. Um, You guys can find the charms and the glitter and the nails and everything on the website. All right, I'm going to do another one just just in case i recreate this i could switch it up 
Um, I, I need to get some all white pearls. I don't have all white pearls. Um, they're all, how do you call it? Um, they're like a B so they don't, they wouldn't go pretty. But if you do have all white pearls, you can definitely, yes, this is top coat. This is regular shiny top coat. Um, this hand is available at readyguana.com. Um, you guys can use code Zule at checkout for a discount. This one is in color Inessa. And um, it is a posable hand. All right. Your mom lit it up in her restroom. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the one that Stephanie um, gave me. It's because I, when we got here from the pop-up, um, we didn't put the stuff away right away. We left it in our entry. And so little by little, El Jefe would give me the gifts that people brought me. And um, her her gift was one of the last ones that he found in in the boxes at the bottom. And I guess because she was the one who gave it to me first, it was at the bottom. And how to call it? Um, I showed it to my mom, and she's like, "Ay, qué bonita!" So maybe she did take it to her restroom, but she didn't light it up. She did not light them up either. Um, how long will the sugar glitter last on the nail? It totally depends on your clients. Sugar is not for everybody. Um, if your clients are really rough with their hands, they just abuse the nails a lot. And your clients will know because there's clients who just can't have charms and shit because they will find a way to yank them off or whatever. Um, it, it can last up to four weeks. Obviously, the excess will start to fall off over time. But in general, sugar nails um, last two to three weeks. Like, really pretty. But they do, they do, um, how do you call it? Leave a, um, ¿cómo se dice? A texture. So, also, there's clients who cannot feel texture on their nails. So, They'll be like, oh, can you put top coat? And you're like, no. If they want top coat over, it's not going to give the same look. So that's why you you should, if you guys want to start offering sugar options with glitter on the nails, you should have them in, in um, ¿cómo se dice? samples so they can feel it too. Because not everybody can handle those textures. And I don't like to use black to cure the glitter because it won't cure. I was talking about this earlier. Normally, I like to use regular top coat to cure gels. I mean, glitter. Because black gel already cures. Um, takes forever to cure in general. So, how do you call it? Um, if you try to apply the black gel first and then the glitter the glitter will fall off fast because it will start wrinkling and come off. It, it won't stay long. It won't stick. So there's a little piece of glitter in here that got stuck right there. All right, so here are the nails. What do you guys think? Yeah, if you guys are going to do um sugar nails, just apply your gel like normal. And at the end, um especially with black, apply it with, with um top coat. Don't use the black gel because it will not cure. Trust me. It won't be able to penetrate the dark glitter. They're so pretty, huh? Wow. So beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. They're so gorgeous. I love them. Bitch, too bad it's not me. This would definitely look really nice in pink, purple, whatever color you like. So beautiful. All right, guys. Well, it's time to go. I think dinner is almost ready. What time is it right now? We're going to have early dinner. Um, maybe if you guys get lucky. I